Okay, so we're here today, fight announcement. I'm just gonna leave it in uh, to you, Damien, firstly to announce this, and then we'll, we'll go on from there. Uh, Mr. Chalke is fighting for the WBC International um, on the 19th of September in Grozny, Russia. He's fighting the champion. His name is Megdi Abdusharev. Um, he's got six pro fights, six wins, three knockouts. He won the WBC International in his last fight. And yeah, he's making his defense to our main man, Mr. Jackson Chalke, on the 19th, and we're looking forward to it. I'm excited to go back to Russia. It's three times in three months. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm happy Jackson's getting a bit of international exposure now. I think it's well overdue. And yeah, I think it's exciting. And I think it's something for him to secure um, a, a solid future and prepare the next two years of his career. I think it can make a big change in his career now if he secures the WBC International, it can open up more doors for him and I think he can just end off his career the next two years with a, with a good eye. Jackson, WBC International on the line, obviously you travelling to Russia now. How do you feel about all this? Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, God for this. I'd like to thank Damien for the opportunity. Uh, not forgetting uh, my promoter, our promotion, for giving me the go-ahead for the fight. Uh, coming to your questions, Aiden, uh, I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this uh, and for a long time. Sometimes I'll walk and then I'll be thinking, I've been dreaming about this, you understand? Finally, it's finally happening. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to grab it with uh, both hands. I'm going there to give all, give out my heart. I'm going to leave everything in the ring. But I'm definitely sure I'm going to bring the WBC International back home with me. Obviously, Damien, you've had recent success in Russia with uh, Ilunga Makabu. Uh, is this something off the back of that? Um, look, uh, they're two very different fighters. Junior being a southpaw, cruiserweight, and then you've got uh, Jackson being an orthodox and a flyweight. So they're two very... Don't forget to say technician. <laughs> <laughs> so they're two very different fighters. Um, you know, Makabu's tough, he's strong, he punches extremely hard. And uh, where Jackson's fast and he's, he's, he's a good thinker. So um, it's nice going over with Jackson. I'm excited for him. You know, he traveled as an amateur um, internationally. And now it's his first opportunity to travel internationally being a professional. And uh, I think we've seen in, in the last two and a half years how, how far Jackson's career has come from where it was and where it is now. And I'm grateful that the opportunities come. We were supposed to fight for the WBC International last year in December on the, the making of a champion with the co-promotion between Andre and the Americans and obviously the Americans ran away and we never had the show. So um, that opportunity was there. We went through everything. We did the medicals. We spent the money to do the medicals and it didn't happen. And you scratch your head, you see, damn, we were right there by the opportunity and, and it never happened. And, here we are blessed with the opportunity to fight for the WBC International again and those opportunities don't come around for the second time and I think it's, it's obviously for me it's a, a sign of destiny. I think it's something that needs to happen for childcare. I'm happy to go to Russia. It is a tough environment. Uh, Junior knocked out Kudryoshov in, uh, in Yekaterinburg, Russia. Um, then we got the, the points win over um, up in, in uh, Chelyabinsk and now we're going to Grozny, Russia. So before I know it, maybe even the next one, St. Petersburg and Moscow and I know the whole of Russia. But uh, I'm happy to travel to Russia. The, the, the promoters do take care of you. The, the matchmakers are fair. Uh, when you do your deals, they, they fair. Um, they're honorable people from what I have seen in Russia and for me it's not an issue to go there. Yes, it's a tough environment. The Russians, the Russian uh, people get behind their man, they scream, they shout, but they go very quiet when their man's losing. So when you know it's quiet, you know you're in charge. So it's an easy way to know that you, you, you're taking over the fight. And uh, for me, I believe the boy has only got six fights. He's got a good amateur background. But do I think he's ready to go to the deep borders with Jackson Chalke? I don't think so. Well, Jackson, I mean, this is a big step up from Jel the Jelwana fight. This is, this is in hostile territory, as, da as Damien said. Um, it is a big belt on the line. It's a big opponent for you. How are your preparations, or how are you going to plan to go into this mentally? You know, obviously having to face all the challenges you're going to have to, and still coming out as the winner. Uh, you must have 
must remember this is not the first time. It might be a professional, but this is not the first time that I've fought uh, outside of the country. Uh, mentally, my mind is always strong, and I, I try to think positive all the time. But uh, in my heart, I'm definitely sure I'm going to win. I'm going to give up everything. If I have to lose my hands there, then let it be. You have the opportunity of actually keeping your beard this time. Are you gonna? Are you gonna take full advantage of that? I'm gonna dye white. You're gonna dye it white. <laughs> yeah. You serious? I'm serious. Hayden, you made a good point there when you said this is a big opponent for Jackson and a, mm. and a big belt opportunity. I think the big belt opportunity, yes, but I think this is a big opponent for his opponent. Considering, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> you know, the guy's got six fights. He's never fought anyone at the level of Chalke. Um, you, you've got a guy that's been in the ring in 20 professional fights and a boy that's been in there six times. Jackson's been 12 rounds, that boy's never been past, I think, six, six or seven rounds. So he's going, that boy's going into a new environment, going into a championship fight with, a, with championship material, genuine championship material. Well, in terms of timing, it's the right time for him because it's like the longer you wait, uh, the less opportunities that will arise because less and less people will. And you, in order to win a world championship, now is the time to sort of building in the WBC ratings as you're doing. Where does this put him if he wins the international title? Well, the champion has got, uh, he's, if I'm not mistaken, ranked 39 in the WBC because, they, because he's got such little fights. They've given him the 39th rating. So the ABU champion is actually rated higher than him because of him only having six pro fights. So Jackson takes over the WBC international title and I think they'll push it a lot further because of his experience. Um, when, I, when I look at the boy, he's uh, also a bit of a technician. He's clever, he's got decent power, but uh, three knockouts in six wins tells you he hasn't got extreme power. So he's got decent power from what I've seen. Um, he's a clever fighter, he's a thinker, but he's in there with a thinker as well. Jackson got 14 knockouts in 18 wins. So Jackson is a poacher as well. We know Jackson's got fast hands, so I'm expecting a very, very good fight, and uh, I know the Russians are going to come well prepared, we're also coming well prepared, and I'm not going there for holiday, Jackson needs to make this win, and he needs to secure a better future for himself, and open up all the doors he can this late into his career, and like we've seen, we question his age, but he hasn't shown any signs of age, so I think the timing's right. And uh, in terms of the fight date? Has that been announced there? Did yes, you say it's that? 19th of September. 19th it's of September. Thursday evening in Russia. 19th? Oh, two weeks' time? Yeah. So have you been in camp already? Oh, I've been in camp. Uh, I've been training. The talks of this fight started on the 8th of August. That's when we the, the negotiations started for this. Uh, all the negotiations were concluded last week. So, yeah, we've, we've been aware of the fight from the 8th of August. Um, you know, Jackson was just, he just fought now on the 27th of July. Mm. He had a full camp for that fight, knocked out a one in one round. So, Jackson's had two fights this year. He's been active, I think he's ready for this, and yeah, I think we're going to come home with the WC International. Wow. Any comments on Russia? Uh, there's no comment, but uh, I'm definitely going coming back with the WBC International. If your opponent can speak English, I don't know if he can speak English or not, do you, do you have a message for him? Uh, I'll say to him, uh, he must come prepared. He hasn't fought uh, anyone like me before, so he must come prepared for a fight. So Damien's three out of three in Russia? Please God, <laughs> okay. let's do this. I'm not, uh, as I said, I'm comfortable going to Russia. It's not my first time going to Russia. I, as you can see, well, South African trainers are willing to travel and we do get wins abroad. So. I'm happy to travel, Jackson's happy to travel, he's been to the Olympics, he's travelled the world. Um, it's just a different environment, it's uh, a different opponent, but to me, Jackson's experience will shine through this fight.